Welcome back to the Realist channel on YouTube. Another month of absence pop up at the end of the month. That's just my thing now. That's how I do. It won't always be this way, but it's just that theme. That's how I feel in my spirit. So that's what I'm doing. But we're here to react to one of the biggest fights of the year. Anthony Joshua versus Alexander Usyk. Very competitive fight. It was always going to be one of those, I don't know who I'm gonna go with. You got the power from AJ, the size, and you got the skill, the IQ, movement and speed with Usyk. And it all depended on who could execute their game plan. Now, Usyk's game plan to win the fight had to be more on point than AJ's. The reason I say that is because AJ always had that power chance. He always had that chance that if he had a bad day and he landed a few clean punches, he could get Usyk going. Whereas Usyk's game plan wouldn't have been a one hit of quitter, it would have been a 12 round continuous concentration to beat the bigger man using his attributes. And when the fight came to it, when it came down to it, AJ did not use his strength. He did not get a chance to use his power like what he would have had to do to win the fight. A lot of people will give him a hard time for that performance. But to be honest, out of all of AJ's fights, that is probably the toughest fight on paper from the start. It's not like Andy Ruiz. We know Andy Ruiz is a good fighter, but I don't think many people gave Andy Ruiz a chance of winning that fight. Whereas going into this one, if any fight you're gonna be skeptical on whether AJ could come out victorious, this is the fight. We're talking about a man who was European, world, Olympic champion, cru undisputed cruiserweight champion, been trained by Papachenko, you know, been around the Klitschko's in their training camps for years, sparring inside, like day in, day out. So it's just that opponent, would be the toughest opponent and he did prove to be because I feel like the way Usyk won says more than the way Ruiz won. Especially when you include the rematch performance of Ruiz. Ruiz caught AJ when he was throwing a big load of punches. Usyk actually used his IQ and boxing to move around AJ and dominate the fight. Personally, I had Usyk winning the fight by at least four or five rounds. I've seen a lot of scorecards, 115, 113, which is fair. And I guess in boxing, you just have to be grateful when the right man wins and not really go into the cards too much because it is a matter of opinion. We know sometimes opinions can be extremely shaky and wrong, but the right man won yesterday and that's the most important thing. Getting into the fight. We see AJ started off not the, not with the intent. He didn't establish his ground, you know, and that is something we would love to see from the bigger man. We would love to see him come out, establish his ground and make this guy go, okay, I am now in there with a heavyweight. Instead, he decided to take the chess tactic approach, which allowed Usyk to actually set the pace from the jump didn't run around him, came straight out in the center, intense fading like he does, in and out with the footwork. And AJ was kind of looking at a way to work Usyk out. This gave Usyk the early rounds in my opinion. Rounds one to three, and maybe even four, I would say was in Usyk's favor as AJ was trying to find his rhythm, find his timing, distance, in order to catch the quicker man. Five, six, I'd give to AJ. I'd give rounds five and six to AJ. He did find his range. He started looping his right hand instead of delivering it straight, which we know is the traditional way to, to land on a southpaw down the pipe. He started coming round the guard. So a lot of lateral movement from Usyk. And sometimes as he's moving laterally, if you throw a punch that is delivered laterally, you can catch him. And AJ did do that effectively in rounds five and six. And probably seven, you could give to AJ as well. Going into the championship rounds, going into the later stages of the fight and the championship rounds, Usyk, as we've seen multiple times, up. His pace of his fights go like this. And that is something that watching as an up and coming fighter and watching the highest level of the sport is something I wanna replicate. We see a lot of people start off fresh and mid to late rounds 
they tire, a lot of clinching, a lot of holding, especially in my weight category and heavyweight. I want to be similar to use it in that manner of being able to grow the pace as the fight goes on because as we could see AJ came that is when he came unstuck that is when things got really difficult not only is it hard to fight someone like Alexander Usyk mentally because his IQ is so high but when he starts to push the pace and charge you uh, and, and start to tax you sorry on your cardio now you've got two worries and that is a lot to worry about whilst trying to get your shots off and trying to execute your game plan. The combination punching from Usyk was brilliant as always, up and down, varies his target, moves off when he's throwing his punches, using his southpaw angle to his advantage. He doesn't jab in a straight line, he jabs off to an angle, allowing the orthodox fighter to be stationary in front of him in front of, with pretty much no target. The punches will be delivered here, music will be here, music will be here. And that is brilliant boxing and especially from someone of that size to execute the angles brilliantly. Um, AJ, I don't know if he was afraid of being tired going into a fight like that. You know that you're fighting a guy with good cardio and he sets a high pace. So when you're using your strength and you're trying to be a dominating force and you're trying to be physical it's a lot of muscle to move that is just genetic people that give aj a hard time over his cardio i don't think it's fair i think he trains very hard i think he prepares himself the best he can because he's a competitor aj is a competitor he wants to win at the end of the day and he will prepare himself best to win but you cannot fight the genetics of his body he is very muscle bound and we know muscles take up oxygen and no matter how fit you are they need a time for that lactic acid to die down to then be able to build the muscles back with them again someone as large as tyson fury doesn't have the most muscle allows him to be a more endurance based fighter and boxing when you're fighting 12 rounds and you're at the highest level it's an endurance based sport there's time for you to activate your ATP, your, you know, your, your short system, your short burst system. And AJ, his short burst system, I can imagine would knock every man through the wall. But if you survive that, you're now stuck on having to deal with your endurance. And that is something that's gonna be difficult with the body type that he has. Um, it would have been most effective for AJ to use his strength early to hope that Usyk has less in the tank later in the fight keeping the pace slower, keeping the fight more competitive. Investing in the body was something that AJ began to do, which I thought was very smart. That is how you slow a man down. And he was whacking them in. But then Usyk, the genius that he is, the way that he stays calm under pressure, made the adjustments. There was a lot of right uppercuts going into the body from AJ. Perfect shot for a southpaw. They leave themselves both and if they overreach with their backhand. But he started realizing AJ was doing that stepping back making him fall short or just simply staying on the outside perimeter of AJ's range to evade those punches. These are the things that make Usyk a great fighter. It was a great fight. Um, boxing needs fights like that and that is what keeps the eyes on the sport and it's amazing to see two top level athletes battle for the heavyweight championship of the world in my hometown of Tottenham. And it's crazy and I feel like it, obviously we know there's a rematch clause in there. I don't know what you guys think about the rematch. I don't think the rematch for AJ is necessarily the best idea. Just because Usyk is more experienced and he's had a chance to see AJ now. Vice versa, but I feel like Usyk will make those adjustments by early next year quicker than it will for AJ to really adapt to Usyk's style. He showed a few elements yesterday that maybe he can break it, but a lot more would have to change in order for AJ to really conquer Usyk's style and beat him. Um, it was always a bad matchup stylistically for AJ. Uh, he hasn't fought a southpaw before. Well, Charles Martin, the only southpaw he's fought as a professional, but he hasn't fought a southpaw before of high skill. And um, this was the first one since the amateurs that he's faced. One of the best southpaws that he's faced, if not one of the best southpaws ever. So it was a very interesting 
dilemma and situation for AJ to be in, but credit to him because a lot of people would have relinquished that belt and avoided Usyk. He's a warrior, he says he's a warrior, and having fights like this proves that he is because it's easy to avoid guys in today's boxing and he didn't choose that path. He went in there like a man, he put his belts on the line, he fought until the end and we have to give him credit for that. In terms of his boxing, he's gonna have to make some changes. He knows that he's got a lot of people in the camp but I don't know how many of the people in the camp are really going to add into his game what is needed right now, which is rough house. He needs some rough house boxing. Someone of AJ's size, if he was more rough around the edges, um, as much as, as well as using his new refined boxing, he would be more of a problem than he already is. But, who am I to say that? Who am I? I'm the injured guy that doesn't fight at this moment. So, I can't be offering out too much advice, but it's my opinion, you clicked on the channel, so that means you wanted to hear it. You get what I'm saying? Talking about myself, it's getting to that time. It's getting to that time, people. You see me put out the tweet recently about me having my release completed from me with a promotion. All of you can, you know, give your little reasons as to why it happened. I've already explained why it's happened. The pandemic just made me realize that I need to be back home that's where I built myself, that's where I want to continue to build myself and that's where I'm going to get the most love. So that's why I'm here. And with making that decision, something very interesting is in the works and will be able to announce that soon. I will be able to announce that soon. Very exciting. I feel like everyone will be looking forward to it once they hear it and it will be worth the wait. In the meantime, if your muscles are sore, drink some my protein clear weight isolate. I'm not a fan of protein being heavy on the stomach. It's actually something that put me off drinking protein for a long time. But this is like drinking protein, like dilute Robinsons or something or whatever. Um, or even Vimto, because they've got the collab with Vimto now. So you can go to myprotein.com and grab that. 37% off myprotein.com. If I move my head there, you should see some water bottles. That's Cure Oxygen. You can also grab that using Real Cure on checkout. You will get a discount also. I hope you enjoyed my breakdown and evaluation of the fight. I'll be back with more videos. And when I can tell you guys what I've been working on and what can be announced, I'll be more active on the channel because I'll be gassed and I'll be offering you new things. If you don't know what I do at the end of the video, it's the end of the video. 